You may have heard of the arms race that we're currently in the middle of, and if you haven't and you were wondering, no, it's got nothing to do with Fallout Boy. You see, with COVID, the war in Ukraine, Trump's departure from the White House, and a million other things that grab the world's attention, the tinkering of some computer scientists in their labs is hardly front page news. But I'm glad you're here because the competition that is currently underway between the world's leaders is quite possibly the most important moment in history to date. Now look, I know that that sounds like a little bit of an exaggeration, but it certainly seems that what happens in the next 20 to 30 years, maybe even the next 10 years, could lay the foundations for the centuries to come. Let me explain. Humans are always competing. It's just what we do. Whether it's the Olympics or the World Cup, creating weapons of mass destruction or racing to the moon. Someone always wants to be first. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. The knock-on effects of competition are often innovations that ultimately make people better off. For example, the Olympics comes with creative new training, nutrition, and health protocols. The space race heralded many scientific and technological advancements. And as for the nuclear arms race, well, I did say that competition often makes people better off. Not always. But the AI arms race is different from the other competitions that I've previously mentioned, and the reason for this is that dominating the AI field is not a momentary victory. It's not as if you create a specific AI, everyone celebrates, shakes hands, says thanks for playing, and the competition's over. Winning the AI race doesn't just put a gold medal around your neck, it gives you the ability to create gold medals for decades and possibly centuries to come. What I'm trying to say is that the benefits for the winner won't just be limited to one industry at one particular point in time. This is because artificial intelligence at its core is a revolutionary technology that is going to influence pretty much every facet of our lives. Finance, entertainment, retail, sport, communications, medicine, all of these industries will be revolutionized by AI. Now, there have of course been revolutionary technologies before. Electricity, the printing press, the internet. All of these were invented by someone who patented the technology and then enjoyed the bragging rights and temporary glory of having been the creator. The countries that these people shared allegiance to got to vicariously bask in the prestige and the economic benefits. But here's the difference. Electricity, the printing press, and even the internet required human intervention and ingenuity to make these technologies useful and productive. This is not the case with AI. If anything, creating a sophisticated AI is the invention of ingenuity itself. The country that demonstrates superiority in this field will reap the benefits certainly first, but also the most. They will have the ability to patent inventions, reap economic benefits, and expand their knowledge in all areas of interest, which will lead to more inventions, more economic benefits, and more knowledge. And the cycle continues. Due to the exponential nature of technology, by the third iteration of this cycle, second place may be so far behind that they'll never catch up. To be a few years ahead in the AI field can ultimately mean being hundreds of years ahead. So with all that being said, let's meet our contestants. Of course, most developed countries have both the public and private sectors investing vast sums of money into the AI field, but despite this, there appear to be two main players. For the sake of this video, we're gonna focus solely on them, and if you haven't guessed it already, they are the two biggest superpowers in the world, China and the United States of America. According to Stanford University's 2022 Artificial Intelligence Index report, the US are leading in terms of total private investment into the AI field at approximately $52.9 billion. That's over three times the next country on the list, which is China at $17.2 billion. On top of this, America has the most newly funded companies in AI with 299 against China's 100. So it appears that America is ahead based on how much money they're putting into this. But that's only half the story. You see, China are leading the world in terms of total AI research publications. They are producing a way higher percentage than the US. In fact, 
China produced 31% of all global AI journal publications, demonstrating that they certainly are doing the most in terms of research. Because of all of this research and development, China are filing over half of the world's AI patents, approximately 80,000 of them. With that being said, however, only about 6% of them are actually being granted. This is in comparison to the US who file less patents overall, but are having a greater percentage of them actually accepted. So those are some basic stats and based off them, it seems that America is en route to AI dominance. But I wouldn't be so sure. There are a few points in particular that make me feel as if China will get ahead if they aren't already. Firstly, China's economy is growing unbelievably quickly and they're forecasted to have the biggest economy in the world by around 2030. With more money comes more global influence and essentially more power. Secondly, China's population is massive. They have 1.4 billion people against America's roughly 340 million. Now they both seem like big numbers, but 1.4 billion is significantly larger in comparison. As China's economy grows and they have a larger portion of the population moving into middle and higher income brackets, there will be more people accessing mobile phones and the internet. This means that China will have the ability to extract way more data from its citizens compared to the US. And in AI, Data is worth more than gold. It's essentially the oil that runs the machine. More data makes AI more powerful and robust, and China just has way more of it. Which leads to the third point, which is that China has less resistance when it comes to actually accessing this data. In the US, many rally and advocate for privacy. When they find out that the government or a corporation or anyone for that matter is spying or using their data without permission, there's revolt. Governments and companies therefore have to move very slowly and carefully to make sure that they one, don't break the law, and two, keep their customers and citizens happy. China doesn't face this problem, and if they do, it's to a far lesser degree. In China, the government has most of the power. The citizens' data is up for grabs whether they like it or not. Surveillance cameras, internet monitoring, finger and facial recognition technology are all mechanisms that the Chinese government used to procure data from its citizens. Accessing citizen and consumer data while possible in America is just simply not as easy as doing it in China. Because of this, China can move full steam ahead while America remains rigid having to jump through multiple legal, corporate, and social hurdles. While being great for democracy, privacy, and the integrity of the American people, these obstacles definitely impede progress. In what is the AI race, this may just be America's biggest undoing, despite it being a noble one. The last point to consider is that the powers that be in Beijing have stated that by 2030, they want to be the leading power in AI. I don't believe these to be empty words. This is a declaration from the Chinese government. America, as far as I'm aware, has not been so bold in their statements, and they appear to be busy with many other endeavors, projects, and undertakings. To put it simply, it seems like China have their head in the game. They are focused and they wanna win. So where does this leave us? China is a disciplined, intelligent, and increasingly wealthy country with vast amounts of data and little resistance to access it. America is a rich country with academic prowess. They are home to the biggest tech companies on the planet and they have a track record of coming out on top. Whatever nation wins this race, I hope that the fruits of their labor are shared with the global community. I also pray that their desire to be first doesn't come at the cost of humanity, but that's a video for another time. I would love to hear everyone's thoughts on this matter, and if you feel as if I've overlooked important insights or information, please feel free to correct or enlighten me in the comments. I feel that the more that we discuss this particular topic, the more likely we are to achieve better outcomes for everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.